Coca Bell, Timajil, Ramiel, Daniel, Ezekiel, but they're, they're spelled differently. There's a lot of names of of the angels, but it says these are the chiefs of their chiefs of tens. Now, the one that we call Satan is mentioned in this book of Enoch as Jaquan, J E Q O N. And it says that he was in the garden and deceived Eve. Now, it tells, I'm not going to go all, all the way into it and just go into detail, great details about what each of these angels did. But it says that about the women, and they became pregnant and they bare gi great giants whose height was 3,000 L's. Those of you that don't know, that's 4,500 square feet. 4,500 miles in the air. That's how tall they were. Who consumed all the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, these giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. They was cannibals. So, all this stuff you hear about about sacrifices and blood drinking, you gotta understand, there's a lot going on in this world that you do not know about. Believe me when I tell you. And I don't want to go into great detail about it. Like I said, I'm smarter than that. I'm not gonna talk about it that much on YouTube because it's a waste of time. I mean, we'll, I'll talk about it later on, you know, in person. But these giants was blood drinkers, they was cannibals, they was doing all types of things. Now there are people whom you admire, not me, because I know about them, but some of you admire these people because of their wealth, fame, and fortune, and you don't understand exactly what they had to do to get it. Well, the scripture says that as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Now let's compare. Number one, there were giants, and giants were in the earth in the days of Noah. So he said it'll be the same, so we, we can expect to see something mysterious to us. Number two, wickedness of man was great in the earth. Every imagination and the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Now the most high wrath was kindled then, so what do we think is going to happen now? Now as I say, Noah is like a John the Baptist. He's like the forerunner. But Yehoshua is like the ark. He's like that boat is going to help you sail safely through the storm. If you don't have a relationship with the Most High and a covenant with the Most High through Yehoshua, then you're going to take the mark of the beast. Because it says that all the inhabitants of the earth shall take the mark of the beast. Now, there will be people that are going to race to try to fulfill Scripture because, remember, the enemy said he will be like the Most High. So you're going to see some mysterious things in these last days. Now, another one. Noah, was, Noah found grace in, in Yah's eyes. Why? Like I said, Noah was a just man, perfect in his generation. And he walked with Yah, meaning he was on the side. The earth was corrupt, just like it is now. The Most High told Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me. And why did he say that? Because of the wickedness. Now in Matthew chapter 25, it talks about a parable of these ten virgins. And five of them didn't have their own. Verse 3 says, They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Or in other words, they were going to church and they were saying that they believed, but nothing happened on the inside. Their names weren't in the book of life. Because the scripture says in Revelation 3 and 5, that he would not blot out the person whose name is in the book of life. He that overcometh, I will not blot his name out of the book. Read it for yourself. This is what he told the church, I believe, of was Sardis. And if he told, told the church of Sardis that, then he's telling you that right now. So, the main thing is for you to be prepared through repentance and coming to the Most High through Yehoshua. Faith in the Most High through the works of Yehoshua. Now, it says... They didn't take their oil with them. So what's the end result? Verse 
verse 11 and 12. Afterwards came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us the ones with no oil. But he answered, and he said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. The word know in the Hebrew speaks of intimacy. It speaks of being on the inside of somebody. That's why you see the scripture saying, Adam knew Eve, and she conceived a son. Meaning that he made a covenant with her. Meaning that he became intimate with her. So if you're a person and you just, you don't want to offend your buddies, you ain't going to make it. Plain and simple. You ain't going to make it. So if your buddies mean more to you than your soul, go ahead and ahead, do your thing. But ain't nothing going to change. Whether you believe it or not, ain't nothing going to change. Watch therefore, for you know, ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Now, Let's go to the book of Revelation. Well, first let's go to the book of Peter. I want to show you something that Peter said about this time that I'm talking of. Peter spoke of the end of the, of, of the age and how what would take place. And Second Peter, I believe it was, he talked about false teachers. He began talking about false teachers. But then he left off by talking about just exactly how the world would be destroyed in those last days, this coming. Now he said, whereby the world, this is 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 6, that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heaven and earth, the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Ungodly means not like God, not like Yah. Means ungodly means that the Most High is not in you. The Most High is not working on you. So you know, you know who you are. You know. Don't try to. Just, come on now. He gave all of us a consciousness. That's why Paul said. Then we, none of us would be with, with excuse. We won't have no excuses. But the things of God are clearly understood by what has been seen. What has been seen? The sky, the light, this, that. Ben Franklin didn't invent light. The Most High said, let there be light, and there was light. All Ben Franklin did, if it was even him, uh, to, you know, they only teach you certain things in school, and about certain people in school. So, you can't expect, you can't think that Ben Franklin did something magical. He didn't do nothing magical. Now it says, The heavens, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. It says in verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in, what, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Shall be burned up. There'll be a new earth. The earth that we know, the scripture says it's going to flee away. It's going to be burned up. It's going to become the lake of fire. That's why we have the the the, the core of the earth is the way it is. Now, I say to any unrepentant scientist, if you know how hot the core of the earth is, the inside of the earth is, then why can't you understand and why don't you believe the scripture when it said that the earth shall melt away with fervent heat? He got it inside for an appointed time. And if you don't repent, if you don't repent, I don't care what you believe. I don't care what you follow. Yes, yeah, this stuff has been changed in the scripture. Yes, yeah, paganism and Christianity. Yeah, this, that, and the other. But if you don't repent, you will perish. Plain and simple. It's, it's plain. If you don't repent, you're going down. You're going to perish. The Most High loves you. He's merciful. But He's giving you time to repent. You know, it reminds me of, of people in jails. I work in a... a a detention facility and it's like the only thing that people the people that get incarcerated that have not changed their ways only thing they want is to get out 
They don't want to change their ways. They just want to get up. That's how people is. If you read about the rich man and Lazarus, he didn't want to change his way. He didn't say nothing about repentance. He just wanted to get up. So, I want to tell you that there is no escape. Now, now, we know from Revelation chapter 10, verse 7, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of Yah shall be finished. As he declared to his servants the prophet. Now, I'm going to show you something how you know a true prophet. I'm going to help you. A true prophet is not going to teach a pre-tribulation rapture. A true prophet is going to tell you that in the days of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished. Ain't no pre-tribulation rapture. Read Matthew 24. Now, we see in this time, leading up to this tenth trumpet, uh, or tenth trumpet, sorry about that, seventh trumpet, that there were two witnesses in the world. And guess what? What a coincidence. Two witnesses would die. Now it says that the two witnesses, and when they have finished their testimony, the beast that shall ascend out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. Now if you read the fifth trumpet, you know that the abyss is going to be open. So there's going to be all types of things going on and being seen in the earth. So, it's not a mystery. Some beast is in the bottomless pit right now. It's going to send up and he's going to kill the two witnesses. The two witnesses. The two that have not died in scripture, no mention of their death, are Elijah and Enoch. And Enoch stated in his book that he knows more than to paraphrase, he knows more than anybody, you know, as far as, far as revelation is concerned. So, these two witnesses are going to be killed. But if you read verse 15 of Revelation chapter 11, And the seventh angel sounded. Remember, when he began to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished. Now, we see in the fifth seal that those that shall be killed as they were shall be fulfilled. So basically, I'm going to talk about the false teaching of the pre-tribulation rapture. Maybe in a, a, a later broadcast, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But we see, what does the scripture say? What I would say to Tim LaHaye and Perry Stone, I don't care what you know about little Hebrews and menorahs and all that. What does the scripture say? The scripture says, in Revelation chapter 10 and 7, But in the days... Of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. And then when you read Revelation chapter 11, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were voices. It tells you what happened. Now, to sum it up, to sum it up, because I want to conclude this teaching. As the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. There were giants in the earth. The earth was filled with wickedness and violence. People were doing all types of things. Noah, the just man, Noah, the man that walked with Yah, was saved. Him and his family and his belongings. And he was used by the Most High to preserve the earth. So, what you see here, you see those that were not walking with the Most High were washed away in the flood. So what does that tell us? Read Revelation. Read Revelation chapter 14. Read Revelation chapter 13. And you'll see what I'm saying. That there will be a time where people will be forced to take a mark in their right hand or in their forehead to buy and sell. And they will say that those that don't take it, those that don't join with them, should be killed. Plain and simple. Now, we know that this is some type of technology. I showed you in the book of Enoch how the fallen angels, which were the giants, the Nephilim, watchers, whatever you want to call them, were teaching men technological things. And that's what we see now. We have this place called Area 51. We have these FEMA concentration camps. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Stop just focusing on your flesh, fulfilling your flesh, fulfilling your butt, belly. Learn. Do some research. Do your research. 